I noticed that they had um, an excellent set of uh, equipment. I really enjoy um, just working out how stuff works. Uh, there's also a, a mechatronics lab, which is completely above every, everything else, I think, in this area. University of Sheffield literally came in to do training um, uh, on this particular lab because it was so high tech. So we had some 3D printers as well. We're definitely encouraged to, to, to work out how exactly um, the, things, the things work and how best we could use them. So we had access to uh, some CAD software. And the training on that is honestly like absolutely fantastic. I was still skills I learned um, in my UTC experience that I didn't get to at university. So there's a company based um, in Sheffield called PES Solutions and they do a lot of CAD modeling and simulation work um, and they came in and did uh, one of our assessments. We were given an underwater ROV model and we had to draw from some engineering drawings. So we had to learn how to interpret engineering drawings and then work out how that was is a 3D object and then be able to draw that. And then we also had to, on our own, design the bracket and draw the bracket that held the um, ballast tanks onto the ROV as well, which is really cool. And then also um, Rolls-Royce came in to do um, one of our assessments as well, where um, it was effectively like a, an analytically driven design. So they gave us this spreadsheet um, to design a fuel pump and you sort of just like fiddle around with all these parameters to try and eat slightly more performance out every single time. 